Let's start uh, with Josh Clipperton from the Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Lexi, congrats. So what does it feel like to finally know where you're going? What's, and this process has been so drawn out. Are you a patient guy usually, or what's this been like? Yeah, it's been uh, you know, a really long uh, the last couple of months, but uh, you know, really fun to, uh, to know who uh, won the lottery today and a uh, really good team, obviously, with a lot of good, uh, good players. So uh, for sure, it's a, it's a pretty good news and uh, really happy. Thanks, Josh. Next question comes from Ryan Kennedy of the Hockey News. Go ahead, Ryan. Hi, Alexi. Um, you know, as it is now, the Quebec League is slated to start on October 1st. The NHL season wouldn't start until December 1st. Is there a possibility that you go back to Ramouski for a month or so just to sort of get your legs before NHL training camp? Um, for sure, there's a couple of uh, possibilities, but uh, we did. We don't know yet uh, our decision, and uh, we'll talk about it with uh, my, uh, my agents and uh, my family and stuff. We'll try to uh, get the, try to uh, take uh, the, the best decision as we can. Thanks, Ryan. Next question comes from Mark Spector of Sportsnet. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Alexi, uh, have you ever been to New York? Uh, are you excited about living in New York? Can you can you give me any history? Did you ever have a favorite player that played for New York? What do you know about what you're about to step into here? Um, I ne I've never been to New York, but uh, you know, a couple of uh, my, my buddies went, and uh, for sure they, they're telling me that uh, it's a pretty nice spot. And uh, you know, my favorite player for sure um, this year was uh, Panarin. Uh, you know, just the done real year he had, and uh, you know, really dominant, and uh, one of the best players in the league this year so um, for sure it's uh, really exciting to watch next question comes from michael trakos of post media go ahead michael hey alexi uh congratulations on potentially being the number one overall pick i'm just wondering how strange was this process for you um you know in, in the last day or so were you contemplating what it would be like to possibly joining everyone from pittsburgh to edmonton to toronto to i guess now new york yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the lottery had uh, a couple of really good teams, and uh, it was uh, really exciting. But uh, you know, for sure, uh, New York is uh, probably the, one of the best spots in, in the league. So, uh, um, for sure, it's uh, really, really fun, really good news. Really excited right now. Thanks, Michael. Next question comes from Andrew Knoll of the New York Times. Go ahead, Andrew. Hi, hi, Alexi. Bonsoir. Uh, I wanted to ask you um, just about the emotional process of all this. Um, obviously, not a typical draft year with everything being delayed, this thing being done virtually. How have the downs been for you leading up to this point? And are you relieved now that you know where you're going finally? Yeah, for sure. It was a pretty long process, but uh, maybe, uh, we were waiting for this day uh, for a couple of weeks now, and uh, it was a a big day, and uh, for sure, uh, it's it's a relief uh, you know, just to know uh, who's gonna uh, pick first. And uh, like I said, we'll see what happens next. But uh, for sure, it was a uh, really special day and a really emotional day. Thank you, Andrew. Next question comes from Mike Moriali of NHL.com. Go ahead, Mike. Congratulations, Alexi. Um, two quick ones here. How long have you been on the ice training? Um, you know, since uh, the season kind of stalled there in the CHL. Um, have you really ramped it up within the last month? And also, what do you think it takes to become a productive offensive player in the NHL from what you've seen and heard? Um, I've been on the ice um, a couple times a week, uh, you know, from uh, maybe two months now. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's always fun being able to work uh, work on yourself and uh, you know, on the player you try trying to Try to become, and uh, I'm in the gym too, just uh, trying to work as hard as I can. And um, you know, for sure, um, I think to become a productive player in the NHL, you gotta uh, work to uh, work in the gym on the ice to get better. Because uh, there's so many uh, great players, so that uh, you know, you need to, to work hard and uh, you know, try to improve every year. Thanks, Mike. Next question comes from Neil McHale of Inside Hockey. Go ahead, Neil. The, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations on a bit of uncertainty, uh, you know, being answered for you tonight. Um, have you, uh, you know, obviously the draft would have been uh, held in Montreal, your home, you know, uh, 
uh, province, but um, you know, what's the plans once uh, it's all said and done with? Do you have uh, a lot of family that um, you know you're going to be celebrating with? Uh, once you know, in safe kind of ways, obviously. But um, you know, how, how disappointing was it too to for the draft not to take place in your home province like that? Um, for sure, it was uh, pretty disappointing. But um, you know, it's it's going to be different, and uh, we'll see how, how it's going to be. But for sure, I'm going to. Uh, be with my family and uh, you know, my close friends. Uh, that's uh, I think the Im- important thing. And uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, like I said, we'll see uh, how they uh, are. They going to proceed, and uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Next question comes from Dan Rosen of NHL.com. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, Alexi, you mentioned uh, Panarin was your favorite player this year. I'm curious, if the Rangers do pick you and you end up in New York, what would be the first thing you'd ask Artemi Panarin? What do you want to know from him? Um, I don't know. I'll probably just ask him, uh, how is it like to play in New York and stuff like that. Uh, you know, simple questions. But, uh, try to get to know him a little bit. That would be, a, that would be my approach for me. Thanks, Dan. Next question comes from Larry Brooks of the New York Post. Go ahead, Larry. Alexi, hi. Can you describe what you believe are your greatest assets as a player and as a teammate? Um, I would say my, uh, my vision um, offensively, the way I can um, create chances for me or for my, my teammates. Um, you know, I think my leadership is something that uh, is real big. And, uh, you know, just all of my offensive abilities, I would say that, that's my strength, you know, just playing offensively with the puck. Uh, I think that's uh, where I'm uh, at my best, and uh, you know, I think that uh, that's my, my biggest strength. Take next question from Mark Rosenman of WLIE. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Alexi. So the, the balls that were in there contained the New York Rangers and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Both of those, the, the, the hockey light and the microscope shine brightest. What about your makeup do you think will help you succeed in the pressure cooker that is New York? Um, no, I think it's, it's just a lot of fun that uh, you know, the city is uh, really loving hockey. And uh, I think as a player, that's what you want. And uh, it's um, exciting to uh, perform uh, in front of, of those kind of fans. So uh, for sure, it's uh, something exciting and uh, something I'm uh, looking forward to.